We are on the top floor of a, um, a house that was well parts built in the 1860s and 1890s so once the second or first quake had finished and we managed to get the children all together with us um, the second quake hit so we sheltered by the bed as the chimneys all double breasted chimneys all fell around us and and once that stopped we all managed to jump out the upstairs window down onto a little veranda and then jump out onto the garden except for young Henry who managed to slide down onto the concrete and uh, but but we we're fine we're all yeah a few lots of scrapes and bruises and a few stitches and things but we're we're good as gold we, we we're really lucky so, so did you jump a story we did and that's how you got an, I see you've got an injury on your hands oh uh, yeah no um we yeah we just uh, I guess we'd always worried about fire away but and we've got one escape heading out but we knew that the the window at the front of the house was also another option of getting out if we could so we'd always practiced what we'd do well not actually jumping out the window but talked about what we'd do with the children if anything like that happened so they were amazing they did exactly what they needed to do stayed really calm and but the force was horrific we just yeah we, we couldn't stand couldn't hear them then the noise was insane but and you're currently living without uh do you have power? No, no power. Um, no water? No water at present. We're trying to get, we've we've got spring fed water here, so we're trying also for stock, not just for us, to get up um, a creek where, where the source of the water is. I think it's there's silt blocking the line. Um, but at present, just because of the weather conditions, it's just, there's too many slips, it's too dangerous to get up there, so we'll we'll try again when things settle down a wee bit. Um, and you're about 18k in land. How many times you made the trip into Kaikoura? Uh, on the second second day after the quake, we went into Kaikoura, went up to the medical centre, got Henry's leg stitched that he had cut and my hand fixed up, and my 88-year-old mum was downstairs when the quake hit, and so we managed to get her on a chopper out to back into Wood End, which was fantastic. So, so we did all of that. We also run a farm stay here, so we were full with guests um, from the Netherlands. So we we looked after them, and they left us um, on the third day after the quake. On that big boat. Um, they actually had a, a plane chartered with oh, travel really? since. They were very lucky. They were going to go on the boat though, but they they found out once once we because we had no way of knowing really what was going on communication wise until we got into Kaikoura then so we we managed to let family know and that we were all okay and and uh, and that, that was the main thing I think yeah <laughs>